Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Oh, yes, my voice is clear. Yes. <coughs> yes. Sir. Okay. So, what we are discussing in the last class, we are discussing about the two-dimensional arrays. So, as a part of two-dimensional arrays, we have seen the applications of two-dimensional arrays. That is, matrix operations. So, in the matrix oh. operations, we have seen um, matrix transpose. That is. Uh, given matrix transpose, matrix addition, and after that, uh, to find the trace of a matrix, and after that, we have seen the uh, matrix multiplication also. But I said I'll be explaining the what is matrix multiplication once again. Okay, so Yes, we have seen how to read the matrix, that is, like, uh, how to print the uh, given two dimensional array in the matrix form. So, to print the given uh, two dimensional array in the matrix form, we have to write a uh, slash and character after completion of inner loop. After completion of inner loop. Okay, so next we have seen transpose. So, to transpose the matrix, we have a three methods. So, what is the first method? First method is interchange the loop. And right as it is the variable by variable name, or right as it is the variable uh, your for loops, but interchange your i and j values. Interchange i and j values when you are printing it. Or else other method is copy the so right as it is like uh, right as it is the variable uh, for loops, and when you are copying it, interchange the a and b. So take the other two dimensional array. Copy the variables, copy the variable values by interchanging the index values, by interchanging the index values that i and j. So j instead of i, we are writing j. Instead of j, we are writing i. Interchanged. They are interchanged. After interchanging it, we print the which which uh, which value. So we are printing the b value. B array. B two dimensional array. So when you're printing it, if it is a matrix form, you have to print in the matrix form logic. So this is the matrix form logic to print it. Okay, next. After that, we have seen addition. So addition of two matrices, how the addition of two matrices goes. So we have to write the logic, two for loop logic, that is two for loop logic, and with result matrix is equal to A of IJ plus B of IJ, same as it is simple. Uh, let anyone tell me, tell me how the matrix subtraction will be there. What is the logic for subtraction? Subtraction just minus instead of plus. Yes, just write a minus. Everything is same. Everything, each and everything is same. Just instead of plus, we write a minus. Printing is same. Logic is same. Reading is same. And condition is same. What is the condition? This is the condition. If R1 equal to equal to R2 and C1 equal to C2, then we are going to perform the mass subtraction. Everything is same. In place of addition, that is subtraction. Uh, if you write a logic for addition of two matrices, the same logic, but the difference is instead of plus, we are going to replace the plus symbol with a minus symbol. With a minus symbol, everything is same. This is matrix addition. We have seen matrix addition. After that, matrix multiplication we have seen. So trace of matrix. So give, to go for a trace of a matrix, we have seen this logic and other one, someone in the class said that, so if at all you write a first this logic i value and you only write a first for loop and you print other for loop and that is also take the i value with so both are same i and a of i i you write that print that uh, that some calculated sum equal to some pressure. that can also be done but as per the logic this is a very good as per the logic because we are going to add for the uh, diagonal diagonal uh, um, elements. This is also okay. So this is a regular logic which you are going to find out. Okay. Next, after that, after that, we have seen the multiplication. So what is the multiplication of two matrices? So when the multiplication goes on, it goes in the two different process. That means the what? What is the reason here? So we are going. We are not going to add the same element in this 
it is not a like addition so the multiplication goes by this element multiplying this element with this element plus multiplying this element with this element so that is that is the thing so we have to do the two processes to make a two processes inter inter interbit with these two we are taking other inner loop called k loop or any 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 variable you can take but other inner loop you have to take so there are three loops we are using in the multiplication remember in the multiplication we are using three loops okay someone making noise or unmuted please mute the rohan okay uh okay so in the multiplication remember we are going to follow three three for loops three for loops for that okay that is the reason we are going to write so what is the clear cut logic clear cut logic for this uh, multiplication of four loops so first this is a uh, this was the for loops actually we are going to write for the multiplication and after that after inner writing inner for loop you have to make R S uh, result of i j equal to zero because whenever I enter into this for loop, I have to make some uh, adjustment that R S of i j equal to R S of i j plus. But we don't know if at all if we are not initializing something with garbage value will be R J. The first is whenever I am entering first in the first iteration. After entering after this loop, after completing outer loop coming to here in the first iteration of this for loop. There will be garbage value in this, so we have to initialize to zero because we have adding R E S of I J equal to R E S of I J plus A of I K into B of K. That's the reason we are initializing. In the next iteration, however, the result will be stored here. The same result will be applied here in the second iteration. Second iteration, so we are going to add it. Okay, that is that. Okay, that's the reason we are going to initialize R E S of I J equal to zero. So whenever I value or J value change. This also changes, so that is based upon that we are going to change. Okay, so this is the logic for matrix multiplication. Is there anyone is having a doubt here, or should I explain again? Anything is missing? Anyone is having the doubt in the matrix multiplication? It is also same. We are going to write a two for loop, but we are going to maintain other for loop in the for loop, and we remember that R E S of I J equal to R E S of I J plus A of I K. Remember, this is inner loop variable. This is iterative variable. After that, I K and K J. I K and K J. So why? Because it is like whenever you see it, <coughs> whenever you are going to do that here, this variable and this variable will be same. Multiplication. Every time in every iteration will be same. Here. Okay, is that right? So that's the reason we are going to we are going to go with the i k j so a of i k into b of k j. Yeah, k j. This is the process. And remember, what is the uh, condition for uh, matrix multiplication? What is the condition for matrix multiplication? And there are R one C one and R two C two. That is the C one and R one should be the common. That means the column size of first matrix is equal to row size. R one equal to C two, no sir. No, no. Row size of Second matrix. The output you are going to get is R one C. The output of resultant matrix, resultant matrix uh, uh, here. Uh, that is order we are going to get as R one C two. One second, check it. Is it right? Everyone in the class, other than that two, or else uh, that one is that two is correct. I don't know. No sir, C one is equal to R two. You are right, sir. Correct, oh. sir. Yes, sir. You are correct. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> so result resultant matrix will be in the order of R one C. 
so you may be confused but uh, like r1 uh, like it matches with the c uh, that we are going to get and the e uh, condition is c1 equal to r2 yeah. the column the column size of first matrix is equal to the row size of the second matrix this is a condition for addition for addition so row size of first matrix is equal to the row row size of second matrix as well as column size of first matrix is equal to column size of second matrix this is the condition by checking this condition only you should perform because uh, until unless so without using this condition if you are performing this uh, logic it is waste because you are not going to get the logic correct okay so you first ask the condition uh, is check the condition raise this condition after that you perform the logic inside this if condition all the condition of the, all the logic inside this if condition and either it is addition or either it is multiplication or subtraction no need to tell a subtraction that so just change the symbol here for the subtraction change the symbol here. this is about like matrix matrix transpose matrix uh addition and matrix trace and the matrix multiplication so these are the possible questions these are the possible questions questions and sure questions like not a sure but possible they will be getting it. any of these question will be getting for a 2d array from 2d array they will be getting it. This is a question you are going to get, but you may get in terms of implement um, transpose of matrix using function, addition of matrix using function, trace of matrix using function, or else matrix multiplication using function. Logic is the same, but we are going to implement by calling a function. Everything is same. The logic we are going to implement is same, but we are going to uh, write in the different form. That is using a function to implement the function we are going to do it and other question how to pass 2d array to a function to a function of a function to 2d array ela pass okay so now in the calling declaration in declaration Say in declaration, we can just say that is the return type. Return type function name. What is the function name? And if you're passing array type, you just say it is a int of 2D array type. Just int of 2D array type. No need to mention the size also. If you want to mention size, you can mention the size. Okay, so both sides you can mention, but no need to mention a side. But that is in calling, calling same, just a function name inside just array name. No need to write any braces, any brackets, anything. No need to write in definition. In definition, in definition, a return type, function name, int, variable name that is variable of uh, that is array name. You uh, you define for it, and the if at all if you want to if you don't want to mention any size any size you should at least mention the column size okay na column size you should at least mention the column size what you are going to treat so without mentioning that size you cannot take it so therefore you should have to you have to mention the column size so how much column you want to read for that that is the reason so for example there is a size you have declared a yeah, 5 by 3 5 by 3 just mention the 3 here Okay, the uh, five automatically taken into account. Okay, the number of rows will be automatically taken into account. But sir, I want to mention the uh, row size also. Mention it row size. 
Okay, you can directly mention. But here you have to mention it. The total size will be called from here to here. Okay, but so your column size must be there. What is the column size you want to accept? How much column size you have? Remember, the column size should be matching, which you declared inside your inside your function. Function. After calling your a column match, a column size match. That's how we create our column size match. That should should be match. For example, you have passed a value here. So if at all you the column size is five, you mentioned it is three. You are going to get an error. You are going to get an error. The match there is no matching size of column. Or else the matching type there is no matching type of array. Or else matching type of variable. Okay, that type this type of error is going to get. Therefore, the same type of size should be passed. Okay, therefore you be uh, like take that so both sides should be mentioned. With same size. After taking the size, you you can read out which is the size you want it. For example, if you mentioned a of ten by ten, ten by ten, take the ten by ten in the function also take ten by ten, ten by ten, and from that you read m value and value, so row size and column size value, m value and n value from the user also. You you uh, that is you compensate that like you dynamically change your m value and value from that user. So that can be done. But at least one size should be there. The column size should be there when you're passing. The same column size should be there in the function. So without that, you cannot accept the value. Cannot be accepted. Okay. This is the program for calling a function. Okay. So I'll explain a simple, uh, simple program uh, using how to pass a variable value using a function. I'll, I'll be showing uh, one example matrix addition. I'll be showing you have to implement. Uh, all the programs using the function. Okay. Any doubts up to you? Okay. Sir, so in definition, we have to mention number of rows and columns. Uh, not uh, rows and columns. Uh, at least, if at all, if you don't want to mention, at least, uh, at least not. Should be column should be mentioned. Column size should be mentioned. It okay. will be specific to the array only, right? We cannot we cannot use another array for the same function. Then I didn't get your question. Like if we are mentioning this, like the number of rows and columns in the function itself. Okay. Then, like, we cannot use the same function for another two D array, right? Or can we? Can we use? It? But why we are going to use the same function? Like the function itself, we are going to write for specific logic. The logic, uh, the logic you are going to write. For example, you write you write a logic for printing a two dimensional array. Two dimensional array. How many times you are going to print a two dimensional array? For example, you want to print a two dimensional array three times. You are going to call. No, sir, I mean, like I have two different two uh, D arrays with different uh, dimensions. Uh, yes, you can. You cannot uh, use the different dimensions arrays in same function. So we have to define okay. another function for the different dimension array. But uh, in in case in case you are you are going to use, the, for example, you are going to write a fu function. That case will not be arising. Array will not be arriving. As I am saying, I am trying to say because. Uh, for example, you have a uh, one set of function for with a only petal. Uh, we want to like a uh, function which is having two different arrays. You mentioned directly the two arrays in the uh, like two array sizes in the function. You can use that around the function name. You know, same function to define this for Monday. Around you say you have to define a both both arrays. Same same function that is that, but I'm thinking so that that sort of situation will not be arriving arriving so because if at all we want to use both both arrays of different sizes, we we are going to take the both arrays. If at all we have one only one array to be used with same size, we are going to use that. Ah uh, yes, the situation may arriving like for example. Uh, as you said, one situation there is like, for example, if you want to read array size of array size of one one thing is like yeah, 
two by three, or other thing is AF three by four. You cannot use. Yes, yes very sir. good. You cannot use that function. Same function, reading function for using a, a reading array of type array of two D array of type one thing, two D array of type other thing. So, sir, till but, now the functions were which we can define were generic, but for two D yes. array it has to be specific. Uh, specific, but another way is like. You mentioned m value, n value inside that. Uh, inside, if you mention m value and n value, for example, row size and column, not m value, row size and column size, directly taking any other variable. Like, at all, if you take r is a variable inside that function, c is a variable inside that function, you can pass that value from here to there. Dynamically, you can pass. You can read that value. Okay, sir. Got it. Yeah. <coughs>
okay did i get the function reading from here to here i have taken the size so did i mention anything here what is the size of the here of region the same size of here <coughs> for example here i mentioned three but i did i mention i did not mention anything here will i get the output yes If I mentioned five, but I didn't get anything. So, but will I will I get the answer? Yes. But here the spaces are empty spaces. Done. <coughs> but column size should be matching. So if here I'm matching three year, I'm taking two year. What is this year warning? I'm getting error. I'm getting here hint. expected int star 2 but argument of int star 3 so because you have given three columns but you are given two columns so getting an error what is error here therefore the column size should be matched the column size should be matching okay however if it is not matching your row size row size the column size should be matched see here the column size is row size is 4 here row size is 5 but but we are, we are getting error free because however the column size is uh, math the row size is not matching the column size should be a match okay so that is the rule for it okay and in other case you can take this so for example If I'm reading the values, from, uh, row size and column values from here only. Taking a maximum size and reading a row size and column size from the user.
sir in that printf statement we have to write i comma j no sir where in that for loop uh, in main function yes sir this one uh, this is to print like this like in the uh, form of like you enter the a of i j ah, yes i ah, yes sorry very good Uh, I I thought I I've written this. Ah, uh, incompatible type three. So I just here I've given ten, but here I've given three. That's the reason it is given like that. Okay, taking a maximum size. From that, I'm going to take. R and body pass with R there. And there are row size and column size. For being I'm taking, so enter the A of zero zero element. So A of zero zero element is last. So there is I'm entering uh, five. So, it is going to out. It's kind of a statement. I am present, sir. Twenty thirty. Fit, 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 fit. So two. By two, I'm taking so enter a of zero zero element. So I'm taking three. Enter the a of zero one element five, and a of one zero element six, and seven. So it is us. It's saying that the element is the array is printed three five six seven. Three five six. So this is how you have we have to pass to be added as a function. To be added as a function, as if we are only adding pass just the size of the changes. That is your based on your. Okay, this is but this is the passing your array. So that is to be added to a function. Sir, Chapnan. Okay, while passing size, can we give variables like if we are scanning R and C, no sir? Can we pass oh. R and C? In the, in, but but that should uh, that should be defined before that. R comma in the global okay. declaration. Okay, okay, you can pass. You can declare R S. Okay. Okay. Uh, next, yeah. So we'll I'll write a code for. Addition, addition, but the only addition task. So based upon that, you read, you see it, and you write for uh, uh, logic of your function. Okay, we turn it to a task. Okay. Thank you. 
sir if they ask this can this in exam then won't it take a lot of time to write yes it will be taking but they say they will be giving a they will not be giving total to write they will be asking for writing uh, logic for addition only the addition logic for reading a matrix like that they will be asking or else they will be asking for only uh, what do you say only just normal addition of the matrices okay means without using function sir uh, in the if at all they are asking a function they just ask you to write a function to addition of matrices only write a function for addition of matrices you have to write only for Achha, function of logic of that addition only addition only like that okay sir Sir, you haven't declared that B in last result. Sir, at last, sir. Here. B is done. 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 Okay. But where is the error? Is line number twenty. Line number twenty. It is Q. What is unknown type? R E S. Sorry. So we missed the ampersand in seventeenth line. Where? Seventeenth line. Seventeenth line. Yes. Yes. Thank you. So just we'll go with the two by two matrix. So enter elements of first matrix. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Sorry, only four now. So four matrix, four elements. The first elements we have entered is first matrix we have entered is one two three four. The row and column size of second matrix is two and two again. And the matrix size. I'm entering five, uh, six, seven, eight. The second matrix we have entered is second matrix we have entered is five six seven eight. So is that right? So one plus five, one plus five is six, two plus six is eight, and three plus seven is ten, four plus eight is twelve. Is that right? Yes. Sir. 
Yes, sir. Okay. So I'll explain one by one what I've done here. So in each and every function, I'm asking, I'm, I'm, I want to take i and j. There is a, that's the reason I directly defined i, j in the global declaration. So by using the, uh, in this function, there are how many functions? One, two, three, four functions are there. In four functions, instead of declaring each time, so I've declared globally. So this i and j will be same. So I can use in every function. Okay. So this is a logic for, you know, printing a two dimensional two-dimensional matrix, two-dimensional array in the matrix form. Just printing a two-dimensional array in the matrix form. Just I didn't open the brace here. Everything is same. So instead of, as it is applicable for only one line, one line, so I didn't open the brace. So that's it. So here, this is just to print a two-dimensional matrix in the uh, matrix, so two-dimensional array in the matrix form. So next thing. I have taken another function, two-dimensional array to read, how to read a two-dimensional array, two-dimensional array read shared and logic. Okay, no? so now, so this is a logic for addition, separately I wrote the addition. So this is a logic, same logic. What is the logic for addition? For i equal to zero, i less than like row size, column size, and r yes, the result is equal to error of i j, b error of b value, a, a, or b. And here I have taken, why I have taken three is because so after adding it, after adding these two, the result has to be stored here. That's the reason I've taken the three arrays and R is the R and C. So why did I take only R and C? I did, why didn't I take R1, C1, R2, C2? Because however, however, the logic, what is the logic? R1, R2 is the same and C1, C2 is the same. If that condition only true, so I'm going to pass R1 and C. I'm going to uh, go for addition. Therefore, if you pass R1 is the same, then R1 passes nante, R2 passes nante, C1 passes na, C2 passes nante. That means that these two are both are same. These two are both are same. Therefore, either of these, any one I can pass, either of any one I can pass. Therefore, I'm only taking the two variables of R1 and C. Sir, can we put this logic into a function? Yes, you can also put. Sir, like function. how do we break out of loops? How to break out of a void function? Like function with return type void. You have to use a break. Break works for function also. Yes. Uh, you ask me for function. Yes, sir. Uh, that cannot be done actually. But look, we cannot uh, break a break out of this function. Once function completes, the uh, what do you say that uh, cursor will come back to the fun function call. So it, it should complete. However, it should complete somewhere. Somehow, in void, we don't have that uh, return. So you can write return minus one, I think. Uh, uh, it, you cannot write. Uh, exit zero, you can write. You can write exit zero. Datu. Okay, sir. You can write exit zero and exit one. What do they do? Like one and zero, what is the difference? Uh, uh, one is the, like, they will be, uh, exit is like, exit zero is like return, just returning uh, normal zero return. So exit one will return one, one value. Actually, they'll return one value. They'll have some codes inside of that. I'll tell you, like, I don't know exact what is the code inside of that, but uh, zero and one is having some code. So uh, unconditional break and unconditional okay, unconditional exit or some conditional exit will be there. I'll tell you that. What is that in the later class? That will be in the function actually in file files. But to add this exit zero and exit one, you have to add a file called stdi lib. std lib. There is a full form is standard library. Standard library you have had for using an exit zero and exit one. So I'll tell you after I did, I forgot that actually exit one and exit zero has some codes in it. I'll tell you. But both are used for exiting out. Exiting out of the function. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We are here. Like uh, I've taken three uh, three matrices because one is for input and both are to both these two are for input and this is the output and we cannot return any value with uh, array value here therefore array values here i've taken both are in the 
year only so after that when i come back here the result value will be stored here what is the what is the value which i send send here the the result will be there in the r in the result place what is the e place for m value e place for in the third place i have taken for the result therefore what is the matrices i passed in the third place that will be storing the result it will be getting the result okay that is the reason and after that r and c are the same so what is the reason for passing only r and c because um, either uh, it is a condition for r1 and c r2 and should be same and c1 c2 should be same therefore i have taken r1 c okay now this is the program okay any 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 doubts i'll be i'll posting this total code in the uh, your group so if at all if you have any doubt you can ask me there or you can ask me personally okay and we are out of time i'm, I'm stopping here and you can uh, be here like if at all after completing uh, taking attendance you can be here if at all you have still you have any doubt okay Seventy-one. Present sir. Eighty two. Present sir. Eighty three. Present sir. Eighty four. Present sir. Eighty five. Present sir. Eighty six. Present sir. Eighty seven. Present sir. Eighty eight. Present sir. Eighty nine. Present sir. Ninety. Present sir. Ninety one. Ninety two. Present sir. Ninety three. Ram. Ninety four. Present sir. Ninety five. Present sir. Ninety six. Absent. Okay. Ninety seven. Yes sir. Ninety eight. Ninety nine. Present sir. Ninety eight. Present sir. Ninety eight. Present ah. Yes sir. Present ah. Run. Which now our class? Give. Do which now run. Sir, there are some health issues. Ninety-nine. Tell us more. Ninety-nine. Ninety-nine. Hundred. Present, sir. One or one. Present, sir. One or two. One or two. One or three. Present. One or two present. Okay. One or three. One of one of four. Present, sir. One of five. Present, sir. One of six. Present, sir. One of seven. Yes, sir. One of eight. Yes, sir. One of nine. Yes, sir. One ten. Present, sir. One eleven. Present, sir. One twelve. One twelve. One thirteen. Present sir. One fourteen. One fourteen. One fifteen. Present sir. One fourteen. Present sir. One fifteen. One fifteen. Present sir. One sixteen. Present sir. One seventeen. Present sir. One eighteen. Present sir. One nineteen. One twenty, one twenty one. Present sir. One twenty two. Present sir. One twenty three. Sir. Present sir. One twenty three present sir. One absent sir. Present sir. One twenty. One twenty four. Present sir. One twenty five. Present sir. One twenty six. Present sir. One twenty seven. Present sir. One twenty eight. Present. One twenty nine. 
present sir 130 present sir 131 present sir 132 present sir 133 present sir okay and your second sem syllabus sorry second cl class test syllabus is like first class test syllabus is your first like that is first bit your syllabus is up to uh, two day arrays okay like uh, two dimensional array that comes under uh, matrix multiplication matrix addition up to that your syllabus okay that is two and a half units for your first bit until matrix addition sir uh, matrix addition matrix multiplication all this 2d what is the application of 2d matrices the 2d arrays okay okay so you may get a matrix multiplication or matrix addition or somewhere something correct uh, what transpose based upon a 2d arrays up to 2d arrays you are going to get an exam okay sir only these of matrices yeah. problems are under applications of 2d arrays right yes applications of 2d arrays Okay. Okay. So, uh, any doubts? Uh, anyone is having any doubt? You can ask me regarding. Sir, uh, you did you all the uh, uh, bubble sorting one. using recursion. You did all those, no, sir. Did you save all those files, sir? Can you share it in the group? Yes, but uh, you have done your own, na? Maybe for take care of something. Koni recursion of. Bubble sorting using recursion rather than bubble sorting using recursion is simple. That is custom. Here, we are custom. Only function to check bubble sort and you can do that. Function to not check. Function to not check this. Okay. Only the searching techniques are using the recursion. Remember. Okay, na. And okay, sorting sir. techniques recursion over other and that is like uh, someone someone hard hard thing to like. Right, because we don't have a perfect base condition to stop there. Way to stop the logic correct thing, I mean correct thing, lay the cover thing. We cannot do that. Then, so under sorting draw all and sorting. Sir, na ko searching searching recursion. If the linear search correct thing, I mean, asta ni kani bubble bubble search. Koncham problem hai to. Binary search. Adi binary search. Yes, code chan ko ni same code ni compass chan. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So sharing the lab I, internal ah uh, yeah lab internal will be after this internal ee e internal life enter avata next week lo lab internal ante that may be in the next tuesday ee tuesday ga kon next tuesday on em em ready pettukovali deniki lab internal ki lab internal ki programs record ante observation record rendu ready eppudu varaku cheppana appudu varaku ready sir observation record so, అబ్జర్వేషన్ కూడా రెగ్యులర్ అబ్జర్వేషన్ అంటే మీరు రెగ్యులర్ గా ఏం రాస్తున్నారో అది అబ్జర్వేషన్ అంటే లైక్ వాట్ ఐమ్ టెలింగ్ అంటే నేను చెప్తున్నది ముందు అబ్జర్వేషన్ రాసుకుంది అంతర రికార్డు రాయమంటున్నాను మరి డైరెక్ట్ గా అన్ని రికార్డు రాయట్లేదు కదా ఏం చేస్తున్నారు ఫస్ట్ అబ్జర్వేషన్ గా కాపీ చేసి అబ్జర్వేషన్ నుంచి రికార్డు రాస్తున్నారు బట్ ఇన్ ద వై వై వీ నీడ్ అబ్జర్వేషన్ బికాస్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ టెలింగ్ ఆల్ ద ప్రోగ్రామ్స్ టు రైట్ ఇన్ ద రికార్డ్ ఓన్లీ సమ్ ఆఫ్ ది ప్రో అంటే సమ్ ఆఫ్ ది మాక్సిమం సెవెంటీ ఫైవ్ పర్సెంట్ ఐమ్ టెలింగ్ టు రైట్ దట్స్ ఎ రీజన్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు బ్రింగ్ బోత్ అబ్జర్వేషన్ అండ్ రికార్డ్ సర్ ఒకసారి ఎగ్జామ్ పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ వ్యూ లో ఒక క్లాస్ తీసుకోండి సర్ ఆ ఇఫ్ ఇఫ్ యు ఆర్ ఫ్రీ ఆన్ సాటర్డే ఐ విల్ బి టేకింగ్ యు పీపుల్ ఆర్ ఫ్రీ ఆన్ సాటర్డే ఓకేనా సో టుమారో ఐ హావ్ అ క్లాస్ వర్క్ సో నా క్లాస్ వర్క్ ఉంది సో మళ్ళీ మన మార్నింగ్ మనకి ల్యాబ్ కూడా ఉంది కదా సో సో దట్స్ ఇట్ ఓకేనా స్పెసిఫిక్ గా మనం చెప్తారా సర్ అంటే ఇలాంటి क्वेश्चन అంటే ఒకసారి చూసుకోండి అని మనం అంటే నేను ఎలాంటివి అంటే రావచ్చు అని చెప్పగలను బట్ అవి వచ్చినా రాకపోయినా బట్ స్పెసిఫిక్ గా ఒకవేళ ఒక ఇన్ టర్మ్స్ ఆఫ్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇయర్ ఇప్పుడు సెట్టింగ్ క్వశ్చన్ చూపర్ ఎలాంటి ఎలా క్వశ్చన్ అడగవచ్చు చెప్పగలుగుతాను అంతే తప్ప ఇవే క్వశ్చన్స్ వస్తాయని మాకు చెప్పలేదు ఓకేనా చేస్తాను రేపు ఉంది కదా రేపు ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ సార్ ఐఎమ్ నాట్ గెటింగ్ మ్యాట్రిక్స్ అడిషన్ ఇన్ నార్మల్ ఫామ్ ఓకే నేను రాసి నేను చెప్తాను ఓకే రేపు రేపు చేద్దాం ఓకే సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ
still any doubts anyone is having any doubt ये फाइल ने ग्रुप में पेटेंट सर ये टीवी एडिशन मैटर्स का एडिशन फाइल पढ़ता नहीं फाइल पढ़ता ओके सर नेक्स्ट एनीवन ओके If at all, if you don't have a uh, doubt, you can leave. But uh, this this is about here. And another one, like I've shared the question bank. So the question bank you could use it for like. We can do use out that question patterns allow on the sales code on the market. And don't touch any questions. Raw with you, but be prepared for that. Okay. And remember, Ila uh, ne question first. I only programming only theory ane on the so combination matra. That will be combination or either. You may get totally a program. You may get totally a, like uh, theory questions. You may get like uh, in the last time I did not only problems which you got the output. Another two third, another third go to come. Okay, na? Sir, will they ask to write algorithms for array type of problems and recursion type of problems? For recursion, they will not be asking. For array, they will be asking. For recursion, they will not be asking. But for array type function, function, function and then, na na separate ko function rasa function lo implement chare na. You give give a heading called function and algorithm. Nothing is an algorithm. You just write the algorithm is like pseudo code. Ante mek telish na code ni just normal form lo rasa pseudo code rasa that is an algorithm. Don't panic for writing an algorithm. Algorithm ante yego bhai padega. మీకు కోడ్ వచ్చిందంటే ఆల్గరిథం రాయడం చాలా ఈజీ ఓకేనా అది ఇప్పుడు నేను ప్రింట్ స్టేట్ ప్రింటింగ్ అంటాను అక్కడ ఏం చేయాలి యూ హెట్ రైట్ రీడ్ దిస్ ఏ వేరియబుల్ దట్స్ దాని తర్వాత కింద లాజిక్ ఫర్ లూప్ లో లాజిక్ ఫర్ లూప్ రాసి ద లాజిక్ ఈజ్ యాజ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ గా రాస్తే సరిపోతుంది దట్ ఈస్ విల్ విల్ బికమ్ ఏ ఆల్గరిథం నేను ఒకసారి ఎక్స్ప్లెయిన్ చేస్తాను రేపు ఓకేనా ఆల్గరిథం ఎలా రాయాలి ఓకే సర్ థాంక్యూ prepare well for your uh, exam okay yes, sir, sir 40 internal marks lo any marks means ki 20 marks sir meer uh, ichna notes prepare avta chal ga sir inka hmm, maximum month a theory ki adi programs aithe nu programs nen cheptna regular programs adi okay na sir okay sir hmm. and remember don't read chadavetappudu class notes ni ni nen cheptana notes pakkana pettukoni chadavandi appudu meeku easy ga artham avutundi class notes ante follow your run running plus nen ichina notes okay okay thank you సార్ ఇంకా క్వశ్చన్స్ కావాలంటే పర్సనల్ గా డిఎం చేయమన్నారు కదా సార్ అంటే నేను చేస్తాను మీరు కోడింగ్ రిలేటెడ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ పెడతారా సార్ అయ్యా ఓకే సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ ఓకే రైట్ చాలా క్లోజ్ మీటింగ్ మార్దో ఎనీ డౌట్ గౌతమ్ అమరేశ్వర్ నమస్తే